Hello, welcome to Megar's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will review the settings screen when using SPY 225 in PowerDB. Let's get started. Once in the home screen of PowerDB, we're going to access the settings screen clicking the gears icon located right next to the connection icon. When you click the icon, you're going to get presented with the settings screen divided into two different sections. On the right hand side, you're going to see the options mostly related to the user interface of the software. On the left hand side, you're going to see the options related to how the unit behaves when energizing the output. Let's review each one of the options. First, we start with maximum time. With this setting, you can limit the maximum time allowed for the output to be energized. In conjunction with the next setting, maximum current, for which you can also limit the maximum current value for any of the tabs of the output of the SPI 225. When this setting is used and a user requests a higher than this maximum current setting is set to, the software will just give the user an error message indicating that current exceeds the value set in the settings as a maximum current. Next is tab verification. As you know, the SPI 225 output is electronically controlled. When a user sets the output at a given value, the unit first will have to do a pre-injection to determine the impedance of the circuit connected to the output so the current requested by the user can be adjusted. That first or initial injection that the unit does is done using this current set in the tab verification setting. Next we have timer stop configuration. On this setting, we have three different options. The first, current actuate being the first and the most common option used, as this will stop the timer whenever the circuit connected to the output is interrupted, or in other words, whenever the circuit breaker connected to the output opens the contents. Next, we have contact mode. On this mode, the unit will monitor the binary input of the SPI-225 for any change in state going from open to close or close to open. Under the third option, the unit will also monitor that binary input, but for any change in voltage, the user can select between increase or decreasing voltage with this third mode. Next, we have Ethernet. With this option, you can change the behavior of how the unit connects to the computer either using the DHCP mode which is the default selection or the user inputting a defined IP address. Next we have time unit for the user to select between seconds or cycles to present the results of the timer. Next, we have Bluetooth password for the user to define a custom password to connect using this interface to a computer. Next, we have pickup ramp rate, which by default is set to 20 amps per second, and it's for the user to change the rate of change of the output when doing instantaneous testing. In conjunction with the next Two settings, the first being pulse on duration, that again, whenever the unit is testing instantaneous elements of the circuit breaker automatically, it will use this pulse on duration to count the time the output is energized on those pulses used in this test mode. The weight between pulses is defined by the pulse of duration which is by default set to 100 cycles. Next is just a display of the unit indicating the main line frequency the unit is being powered from. 
moving on to the right hand side of the settings screen first we have update firmware for a user to use whenever an update firmware is released and the file is downloaded from the mega website next we have color options for the user to define the color palette for the chart shown in the results as well as the curves shown during testing next we have show test parameter which is a toggle going from show to hide for the user to see the test parameter screen every time they do an injection again this is a toggle that will change between show and hide next we have calibration mode used to calibrate the unit current status will show the status of all the sensors in the unit as well as the status of the ethernet board as well as the state of the unit this screen device current status as well as the next one which is display versions are very useful for when a user is having a conversation with tech support let's look at the display versions and see that the screen will show firmware versions for the unit the model as well as the serial number and the hardware revision and on the right hand side it will show all the software versions currently running in your system enter advanced software key is currently not used is reserved for features advanced features that will be developed in the software next one is also a toggle and it will change the behavior of the report generation from asset owner or service company the next button default settings options will change all the settings back to the factory default show input voltage is a function very important when troubleshooting the maximum current a unit can inject that in a given configuration with a certain circuit breaker and a circuit connected to the output when you have this setting enabled the input voltage will be shown in the test screen showing live values even during injections next is language for the user to change the language of the software once a different selection is made the software will have to be restarted for those changes to take effect next we have import curve this is a functionality to be used for a user whenever he receives a file of a curve that was digitized by mega next we have help when we click this button we get two different options screen help which will enable tooltips and mouse overs messages to help the user understand what the software different buttons and functionality offers as well as to direct access to the user manual in pdf once you're happy with all your settings selections just click the accept button for those changes to take effect this concludes by 225 settings screen visit the mega youtube channel for more videos including technical webinars product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any question you may need for your electrical testing